here you have the traditional fork and uh, you don't have the upside down fork that uh, is mounted on the Montesa Cota um, pure trial, let me say. So this is very traditional. Uh, also, another big difference is this. This is uh, some uh, steel, just steel, heavy, mm, with good durability, but nothing special. Also, the, um, the brakes are uh, mm, not racing, uh, but uh, uh, with some difference. And uh, here you can see I changed the, the main uh, gear radio because uh, with this um, a more little uh, gear, uh, it's very similar to the to the one mounted uh, on the Montesa trial and uh, now the gear it's uh, um, uh, quite specific for trial I like it uh, some difference between uh, the first three uh, gear but with this modification I can feel uh, any difference okay here we are tire and I won't just remember that uh, here we have some metal cover on the bearing the Z, Z type, Z -type uh, kind of bearing and uh, in the front uh, we have the, the bearing with the, the rubber cover uh, and I talk about this because on, in off-road I advise of course the rubber uh, cover type uh, of bearing because uh, this metal actually will uh, give opportunity to all the dirty on the things uh, running here and to go inside and uh, um, with the time break the ball bearing. Uh, now in the rear here we have metal, in the front we have uh, um, we have rubber so we can test also this uh, with the time so okay first things the chain don't forget it because you lose your time okay the chain is inside the, uh, the well so let me explain briefly uh, this is for the chain uh, um, tuning for the tuning of the chain and this wedge here um, with your hammer uh, or gently you put it uh, like this and this is a this is a cam like a cam actually and uh, it works with this center but uh, always rotating it will will offset uh, the well uh, respect to the this fork uh, here so this is the first to be mounted we have a spacer here you must respect the dimension of the spacer and then the left field. so we start the brake pad first so I prefer to, to leave from that position. Here actually we have the space. With this pin, uh, this pin actually um, helping me to center uh, the spacer inside uh, between the two bearings.
we have uh, the board that actually gives some uh, friction, not uh, completely tidy, uh, so we can uh, play with, uh, with the cam. So here we lose totally. Most important, the alignment, of course, uh, checking uh, uh, the line on, uh, on the chain. So uh, I will do this and uh, I will give uh, um, here, maybe you see, uh, there is a spring loaded uh, um, chain tensioner because of uh, trial, when you run on trial you have some obstacle and uh, you don't want that your chain uh, will, uh, will fall on, on the rock and so for a very compact uh, design you have the spring uh, loaded uh, um, for, uh, for the chain. This, the lever make, uh, make the, the right uh, work, keeping uh, uh, the, the chain always uh, on the right uh, tight uh, when the, the fork uh, the fork. Okay, the suspension will work and the, the well actually go up and down and these uh, uh, give uh, always the, the right tension. So, but I want something less, just a bit. Yes, is this the play? It's uh, some uh, one and a half uh, centimeter. And the alignment. can have the help of something straight but I can see it quite good here so this is the position now okay and always check okay Sounds good. After you can go independently. Check that you don't move this when you type the, the, the board. We are ready. Important, don't forget about give some grease to the chain. It's uh, very important. Uh, you must uh, um, do it uh, weekly on, on every use because uh, chain in off-road uh, condition is uh, very, very, uh, have a very, very hard life. So you can give some help with the grease. So we make some fuel now and uh, we fire up. So I don't check uh, anything spark uh, because uh, last time it worked nicely and uh, uh, now we put, uh, put the fuel uh, Thank you. 